Three and a half. And that 24 that time got off a of turn two like he had been all night long, but it may be too little too late. It all sorts out. Two. And we may finish this one go. in regulation. Two laps to go. All we got to do is make it around one more time. If the leader sees the white flag under green, the next flag, that'll do it. Here comes Harvick back up under alongside of Jeff Gordon going into turn three. We're coming to the white. Gordon gets a good drive off the top white of the corner. White flags in the air. Right, Kyle white. Busch gets the flag. white flag. It's his race to lose, and the fight is for second and for fifth. And for ninth and for tenth. <laughs> These guys are going to be side by side. It looks like all the way back to start finish line. Gordon actually clears him. Here goes Harvick again. I am so proud of you. That's Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch wins the Heath Calhoun 400. Gordon Harvick, Burton Edwards, Eric Toya, Truex, and wrecking. Jimmy Johnson Rex, Clint Boyer Rex coming across the line. They're wrecking more. That's Robbie Gordon. He didn't really wreck. He just spun it out. Wow. I knew that restart. I knew that cat right there that won the race had something for him on that restart. He does it all the time. Kyle Busch wins his second straight Richmond race for Joe Gibbs Racing. In the spring, that is. It's only his third victory from the pole. He's won six poles in Sprint Cup racing. First win in 22 races for Kyle and for Jeff Gordon. Another wondering of what might have been. And it's a sweep for Kyle Busch. Won last night, won tonight. Just like last year. No, excuse me, Keselowski won last night. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. He didn't win last night. Here's the restart, Daryl. Yeah, it, it, this is where I was kind of wondering if Jeff Gordon shouldn't have taken the outside because right here is where Kyle Busch is so bad fast. Sails it down into there. Looked like he was going to, if Jeff could have cleared him right there, I believe it was Jeff's race, but couldn't do it. It's almost like Gordon jumped back to the throttle a little too, too soon. He had to get back out. Yep. And now coming across the start finish line back where this is uh, this is Clint Boyer and uh, Jimmy Johnson. They get sideways coming off of turn four coming to the line. That was for 10th place. I think some other guys get run into back here. Yeah, Robbie Gordon got run over in the seven car. Wow. I tell you, these finishes are unbelievable, guys. This There's right Montoya. here is a battle for six with Montoya in the 42, Truex in the 56, and Newman in the 39. Kyle Busch salutes the fans. That's the first time in 2010 the pole sitter has won the race, and Dave Rogers' first win as a cup crew chief for Kyle. Busch. That's going to be big for Dave Rogers there. He needed that a lot. This is the sixth win at Richmond for Joe Gibbs Racing, and the third straight win here for Toyota. As Kyle gets his first checkered flag in 22 races, Bristol last August. It's his most recent win. He led 221 of the first 229 laps and led the last five circuits. Wild Thing wins in Richmond. We'll be right back. Dave Rogers, I am so proud of you. Unbelievable job, guys. Thank you so much. Good work, boys. Seven times now in the last eight Richmond races, the driver who led with 10 to go does not drive into victory lane. That driver was Jeff Gordon. Victory lane is occupied by Kyle Busch. Dick Bergman's with him. Great job tonight. Jeff Gordon had been so strong on restarts, and finally somebody beat him. How'd you do it? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, Dave Rogers. I, I can't. I can't thank Dave enough. You know, it's just uh, unbelievable to be back in victory lane. You know, a lot of people doubted what we were doing, but uh, I, I never did. You know, I got to say thanks to M and M's, uh, of course. You know, all these guys that do so much work on this team. Interstate Batteries, Deucen, Food Lion. Uh, Man, Toyota, Marquee Jets, NOS Energy Drink, Gillette. Of course, Sprint also, you know, and I want to thank the fans too. You know, birthday weekend, always great to have all their support here. Going back to the restart, how'd you do it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't even remember what happened. Where was I? I was on the outside. Yep. Uh, I just drove it down into turn one and hope it stuck. I drove it too far. 
and um, I got it pointed just in time and had a major drive up off the corner. And they knew I needed to baby it into turn three and try to get a good launch off of turn four as well. And finally got the clear jet and got down to the bottom and, um, you know, set sail from there. Those guys got racing. It's the best thing when you get out front, you see the guys behind you racing and let you lead out there. But I uh, can't thank M&Ms enough. They've been behind me so much and they're on my truck program. So it's now on the truck boys to go after one tomorrow in Kansas. Now, this is quite a way to give yourself a birthday present. Tomorrow is your birthday? Yeah, yeah, it is. So we did it last year on my birthday. This year we got a birthday present early. So, you know, uh, we had a great race last night. We wound up fourth. So, you know, it's always nice to come to Richmond. I love coming here and appreciate Heath uh, Calhoun and the guys from Crown Royal, too. You know, that's pretty special for him to be here tonight. And again, thanks, Sprint, for the awesome series and the support. Indeed. Congratulations to you. Mike Joy. That's the thing, Dick, about the last 10 laps at Richmond, Darrell. It's like that proverbial box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Well, like I said, uh, you got a coin, you might as well flip a coin okay. because it's really hard to predict. But I did feel like that that restart was going to be so crucial, and I did believe that Kyle Busch had the best car on the restart. He had the outside, all that momentum. He just carried it around Jeff Gordon, and away he went. A moment ago, Matt Yoakum caught up with second place Jeff Gordon. What a night for Jeff Gordon. The difference on the restart, was it more lane choice or older tires? It was 18. He was so strong on restarts all night. I don't know what happened to him that one run where he, he fell back, but, uh, you know, he was head and shoulders above everybody on restarts. And we just, uh, we were good on the long runs, you know, and we got a couple of decent restarts there. And, uh, you know, uh, Burton and Harvey got to race with one another, and it allowed us to get out there and, getting some clean air but that last restart uh, I got a good one but Kyle got a good one as well and I was just too loose to, to really get going and he drove a heck of a race so settled for second uh, great great uh, effort again by DuPont Chevrolet we're gonna have to figure out how to win these ones on these uh, late cautions you know that's just not uh, not where we're strong right now but uh, you know it's something that we'll uh, continue to get better at as the season goes on certainly getting pretty, plenty of practice at it <laughs> Jeff Gordon said on the radio at one point, when a caution came out, it's just never easy. Second place again for Gordon.